Hello, my name's Jody, and today I'm going to channel some healing to help you to clear energetic debris from your field. The galactics, they always tell me that they see us like a whole universe, right? So as within, so without, right? Like we have this whole, right? You think of your organs and your cells and all the systems, we are like a universe. And so whenever I think of energetic debris, I think about like space debris, right? Man-made stuff floating around up there, you know, old satellites, rocks flying around, that sort of thing. So this is what we are charging the field with today to help to clear just any energetic debris, stuff from other people that you might have picked up, right? Anything that's just kind of like floating around in your field that really doesn't need to be there. All right, so I invite you to take some deep breaths. Um, it's good to have your spine straight so you can sit up or lie down. Take some deep breaths. Close your eyes with me, inviting any beings with healing or a message you wish to step forward at this time to do so. So I, I, I'm seeing Ashtar commands coming in, but like like an army coming in, like all of these all of these workers with Ashtar command. And Ashtar command has so many different galactic beings working with him, with Commander Ashtar. They're coming in like an army and they're filing around your field. But there's very much this, this protective energy that's really coming in with them. And Commander Ashtar himself is like directing the troops, the general directing the troops. So this could be quite different for each of you. Um, and there's a lot of different things that he's showing me within each of you. If you haven't had a good energy management practice, your fields can be very littered with energetic debris. Like if you're really focused on healing, but you haven't been so great around clearing and protecting, holding your energetic field, right? You're breaking a lot of stuff up, but you haven't fully shifted it out of your field yet. If you're not good with energetic boundaries, protecting your field, it could be a lot of energy from other people. So each of you is different. I'm seeing different layers of debris. For some of you, this is this is really impacting you. Like you've done all of this work on yourself, you've done all of this healing, but yet you've got this missing piece. So the first thing that's coming in is he says, we're not gonna do this work for it to happen again. <laughs> so this is very, this is the right, it's very much in this energy of like, I'm in command here, you've invited me in and this is how this is going to go. We're not gonna keep doing this. So there's a beautiful, powerful, powerful energy of keeping your field clean of debris. So really the first part of this healing that's coming in is to help you to really commit to your own energetic management and energetic boundaries. If you're interested, I do have a blog post on my website that goes through all the different aspects of energy management. Um, there's lots of resources. Pick what works for you, but it's important that you do this. So this is the first part of the healing that's coming through, is really helping you to release any resistance Anything that's blocking you from having a good energy management practice. Clearing those blockages now. Helping you to really take ownership of your own energetic field. Good, he says. We are ready to start clearing debris now. First sweep of your energetic field now. Starting with the spiritual energy body, clearing debris from your spiritual energy body through all layers, all dimensions. All layers, all dimensions, your spiritual body, clearing debris. 
clearing, 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 clearing. And this army of his workers is here to really capture this debris. This is something that is going to be contained and removed from the Earth experience, Yanos, Jana, the Arakuna, from your experience, from humanity's experience of creation. So there's very much, it's like, it feels very much like a garbage cleanup. It's the best way. <laughs> this army has been tasked with cleaning up the garbage, cleaning up the junk, getting rid of the things. Spiritual energy sweep of debris continue. It's interesting, I'm seeing it like like you've had this magnet placed in the middle of your spiritual energy body that's like magnetizing all of the debris to it. You're now the member of Ashtar Command that's working with you, removing this clump of debris with this magnet from your spiritual energy body for disposal now. Spiritual energy body complete. Moving on to the second sweep of your energy field, your astral energy body. Many of you, he says, are not, a sweep is starting now. Many of you, he says, are not specifically working with your astral energy body where you're doing a lot while you're sleeping. And depending on intentions that you set, Shana, what sort of work you're doing in your dream world. There's differing layers of debris here. So again, I'm seeing that same energy, this like magnetic ball placed in the middle of your astral energy field. Magnetizing all debris to it. I'm hearing sleep hygiene. So not, yeah, it can be very powerful. I typically fall asleep, not typically. I always, <laughs> I always meditate. And that's how I fall asleep. So I'm, I'm actually setting up energetic, energetic protection around me before I fall asleep. This allows me to do the highest work in the astral is what, um, Ashtar is saying to me now, oh, it's good, you know, you do these things because you feel like you should do it and not really understanding the whole, <laughs> beautiful. So having a powerful intention before you go to sleep. I also meditate right after I wake up. I process any dreams, right? Get for the clarity on my dreams. Again, I um, before I get out of bed, I'm setting my protections. And then usually at one point during the middle of the day, I'm also doing it as well. And he's saying this is a really good hygiene, right? To very consciously go into sleep and consciously come out of sleep through meditation, through putting energetic protection, clearing ashakariana isunya for your field. Yeah, removing the ball of debris from your astral energy body now for disposal. Second sweep is done. Moving on to the third sweep, your mental energy body. I'm seeing the member of Ashtar Command working with you again, placing this magnetic ball within the center of your mental energy body. Magnetizing all debris within your mental energy body. Shukriya 
This is really neat because it's like it's picking up on like these stray thoughts. Like, if you're holding a certain frequency, but you occasionally have these like quite lower frequency thoughts, which is where I'm, what I'm noticing now, I'm like holding it, holding it, holding it. Did a really powerful healing recently on aligning um, to your highest frequency. I'm holding it, holding it, holding it. And then some random really low frequency thought will come in. And so I'm seeing these like random low frequency thoughts that I've had there, they're being magnetized within my own field. And for each of you, this is different, but this is really interesting. Just clearing this stuff up. Okay, this, this ball of magnetic debris being removed from your field now. Allowing a moment for integration. Okay, your that was that was intense. Your emotional energy body now sweep number four. There's a magnetic ball being placed in the middle of your emotional energy body now, gathering up all emotional debris. This one, Ashtar wishes you to know, this is a mastery of your emotions. Right? Allowing yourself to have them and not shove them down, but also to master them. To not allow them to have you to move in an unconscious way from unconscious traumas. This is a really big part of the spiritual path. So this clearing of this debris from your emotional energy body is going to be really helpful in your own journey of emotional mastery. So you're not going to have these random emotions just popping up. Just been kind of floating around to have it fully cleared from your field. All right, that is complete. This ball of debris being removed from your emotional energy body now. Moving on to the final sweep of your physical energy body. Again, this magnetic ball being placed within the middle of your physical energy body. And he says that this debris can be from things like vaccines, uh, antibiotics, right? Different medications that you put in your body, debris from lower frequency foods, alcohol, this sort of thing. So not recreating the garbage within your physical energy body would be very, <laughs> I feel like I'm being scolded by a teacher here. Although I think I'm doing a decent job. <laughs> I feel very much the scolding energy, right? So being cognizant of what you put into your physical energy body. But we're also human here to enjoy certain things. So it's always good, he says, to do a clearing, especially after you know you've put something that's a lower frequency within your body, to just ask your guides, right? Ask Ashtar Command to come in and clear this. So just clearing what's ready to be released. So this is, there's very much an energy of physical detox here. He's saying, don't be surprised if you have some physical symptoms of detoxification within your body. Like purging, vomiting, diarrhea. These are just, your body's just doing a massive purge. For others of you, it won't be so extreme, but any sort of physical symptoms that you're feeling over the next 24 to 48 hours, you can be rest assured that this is just the energy clearing. So there's just a little bit of soothing energy for many of us. Uh, we can be triggered when we have physical symptoms of energy moving in a really drastic, uh, powerful way. <laughs> So just helping to kind of 
settle that a little bit. So that reaction, physical symptoms. So just finishing up this last sweep of debris. Moving this ball of magnetized debris now. And our shark man's finishing by sealing up all layers, all levels of your energy body. So there is some space left, right? You think about space and all the debris floating around in space. This has created space within your field. And it's up to each of you how you choose to fill this space. You can ask for more of your soul's energy to fill this space. You can ask for a certain frequency to fill this space, like the frequency of joy, frequency of love. So just uh, you're being guided with whatever you chose to fill this with. You're being assisted with filling this space now with that frequency, anchoring that within your field. And this is the highest expression of that frequency. So I chose joy, for example, the highest expression of joy, filling this space. And it is complete. Thanking Ashtar Command for this powerful healing today. You can take some deep breaths, come back to me. So remember to drink lots of water, rest if your body needs it. This could be very powerful clearing for you, especially if this isn't something you've normally done for yourself to clear this debris. And you're welcome to check out my Patreon page. I have full length healings there that you can buy them one off or join my monthly group healing for $11 a month. Uh, you're welcome to check it out for free for a week. You gain access to over 50 full length healings. Lovely. Thank you for joining me today. Sending you so much love and light.